It is not clear what is really going on here yet, although one possibility is that this all amounts to what I'm going to call stupid Watergate. <laughs> a potential scandal with all the intrigue of Watergate, except everyone involved, is really bad at everything. <laughs> and, and the relevant question isn't so much uh, what did the president know and when did he know it, as it is, is the president physically capable of knowing things at all? <laughs> Because yesterday, he decided that this was the best way to dispel everyone's suspicions. It was just before sunrise in Palm Beach when the President of the United States took to Twitter to make one of his most stunning accusations ever. Terrible. Just found out that Obama had my wires tapped in Trump Tower just before the victory. Nothing found. Followed by four more presidential outbursts taking on President Obama and misspelling tap. Okay. Let me give you some context for where we are. In 1992, Dan Quayle misspelled potato, and it became one of the most famous dumb moments in political history. But we are now at a point where the president is so busy hurling destabilizing conspiracy theories around, we can't even pause to enjoy the fact he misspelled the word tap. <laughs> and his evidence for suggesting President Obama has committed a crime seems pretty thin. Because the president cited no proof, it is not clear tonight whether he based his allegations on a top-secret White House briefing or whether it came from reading an article on the conservative Breitbart website posted Friday that detailed speculation from a conspiracy-loving talk show host, like Mark know. Levin. Okay. I think we can now officially declare that Trump has a worse media diet than the son of Sam Killer. And he got all his news from a talking dog who told him to murder. <laughs> And, and rather than providing evidence to support the accusation, this morning the White House urged Congress to look into the allegations. And it seems odd that a president would issue a firm statement of fact and then launch an investigation to try and support that claim. Something that was pointed out to a White House spokesperson just this morning. The president of the United States is accusing the former president of wiretapping him. I think that this is, again, something that if this happened, Martha, if, this if, would, if, if, <laughs> I, I agree. Why that, is the president saying it did happen? Look, I think he is going off of information that he's seen that has led him to believe uh, that this is a very real potential. Let's break that down. She thinks the president saw information that led him to believe that this is a real potential. So I guess this is just how things are going to work now. The president once saw a banana with a bruise that looked like a picture in an article he read in a dream, and that is why we're at fucking war. And the sad thing is, deep down, we probably all knew that this week would end this way. And if you need proof of that, just look at Paul Ryan's face immediately after Trump made his call for an end to triviality on Tuesday. The time for trivial fights is behind us. We just need the courage to share the dreams that fill our hearts. That is the face of a man thinking, don't laugh, he's the president, which incidentally should now be the official slogan of the Republican Party.